Lola James was a little ray of sunshine. Her father says she was beautiful, charming and cheeky. She died of a catastrophic brain injury inflicted by her mother's new partner. Kyle Bevan left Lola with more than a hundred separate injuries. As he was jailed for her murder, the judge said he'd shown no remorse. This was a sustained, deliberate and very violent attack. He sentenced Bevan to life in prison. The attack would have caused both mental and physical pain and suffering before the onset of coma. It was the culmination of several months of physical child abuse. Lola's mother, Sinead James, tried to hide her face as she arrived at court. She was jailed for six years. The judge said she'd prioritised her relationship with Bevan over concern for her daughter. She'd let Bevan move into her squalid home in Pembrokeshire as the country went into the first national lockdown. Within five months, Lola was dead. Bevan showed no reaction in the dock as the judge detailed the horrific attack that happened overnight. As Lola fell unconscious, Bevan took photos and even a video of her. And instead of calling for help, he spent time washing Lola and cleaning the house to try to cover up what he'd done. He lied that she'd been pushed down the stairs by the dog. When Lola's mother woke up, she called an ambulance. Just to confirm, is she conscious? Is she conscious? I don't even know. Yeah, she's conscious. She's breathing. Yeah, she's conscious. just sleeping. Can okay. you go sit with her, please? I'm really scared. Lola's father was in court to see Bevan and James jailed. In a statement, he said, I miss Lola and my heart hurts. Her tiny body was savaged in the evilest way. She didn't stand a chance. All I have been left with is guilt, heartache, pain and torment. Lola and her family had previously been referred to social services. A review will now establish if more could have been done to save her. Becky Johnson, Sky News at Swansea Crown Court.